With interest rates hitting 4% or higher on high yield savings accounts and certificates of deposit, it can be hard to know where to put your money. There are pros and cons to each of these kinds of savings accounts. With certificates of deposit, you typically lock up your money for a full term length, and if you try to withdraw early, you're hit with a penalty. However, there are types of CDs called no penalty CDs that allow you to withdraw your money with no penalty. Today, we're going to talk about no penalty CDs and high yield savings accounts to decide which one works best for you and your money. You're probably familiar with savings accounts. They can be a great place to store liquid cash and ideally earn a strong interest rate while you do. They're often best for short to medium term goals, like saving for an emergency fund or a vacation fund. Federal law used to state that consumers could only withdraw up to six times per month from their savings accounts without being hit with an excessive withdrawal fee. However, since the pandemic, federal regulations on this rule have lifted, which means that you can withdraw six times or more per month and banks will waive the fee. Certificates of deposit, especially no penalty CDs, tend to not be open quite as frequently as regular savings accounts. The way they work is you tend to put down a minimum opening deposit and then your money is locked up for the full term length of that CD. In return, you get a fixed interest rate that you earn on your money for the term length of that CD that matures and then you can take it out once the CD term length is up. The term lengths that banks offer on CDs typically range from three months to five years, although occasionally you'll find some that go up to 10 years. Credit unions often offer their own version of certificates of deposit as well, called share certificates, and they function basically the same as traditional bank CDs. The way that CDs work is that since they're designed to lock up your money for the full term length of the CD, you'll be hit with an early withdrawal penalty if you try to access your money before the term length is up. The difference between a regular CD and a no penalty CD is that no penalty CDs don't charge you with the penalty if you decide to access your money before the end of the term length. This can make it a more flexible option than a regular CD, although you could miss out on the interest that you would earn if you kept your money in for the full term length of that no penalty CD. No penalty CDs also don't usually allow partial withdrawals, which means that once you do decide to access your money in the no penalty CD, you're essentially cashing out and you'll have to take all your money out. So what are the pros and cons of each of these types of accounts? A pro that both have is that each has competitive interest rates, which are in the range of 4% or higher right now for both kinds of products. That makes both of them a great place to put liquid cash and is a way to earn interest. Also, with a no penalty CD, you won't be hit with a fee for trying to access your money. And with savings accounts, there aren't a lot of excessive withdrawal fees being charged right now, which means that you can access your money on a regular basis throughout the month. One of the main differences between no penalty CDs and high yield savings accounts is about the access. Even though technically both are accessible, savings accounts are designed to be accessible on a regular basis and can be used alongside a checking account to tap for regular expenses as well as emergencies. No penalty CDs are meant to have the money locked up for the full length of the term. And although you can withdraw early, you can only really do it once because CDs are meant to keep your money in one place for an extended period of time. Another major difference between high yield savings accounts and no penalty CDs is interest rates and the way they work for each product. When you open a savings account, you typically open with a particular interest rate, but that rate could fluctuate on any day at any time. If there's something going on in the larger economy, such as the Fed raising interest rates, your bank will likely follow suit and increase interest rates. However, that could also mean that interest rates could go down at any given time. With a no penalty CD, your money is locked in at a particular interest rate that you're guaranteed to earn over the course of that CD. So even though that could really lock in an interest rate that works well for you, it also means that you could miss out on higher interest rates that become available as your money is locked up in that CD. So it's a good idea to weigh those two options when you're considering the interest rate between savings accounts and CDs. If you're trying to choose between a no penalty CD and a high yield savings account, it can be helpful to first to define your savings goals. Take a look at the money that you have on hand. If you have a lump sum that you're not gonna need for a while, a no penalty CD could be a really great option because you'll earn a guaranteed rate of return on that cash by the time the CD term length is up. You can also have the flexibility of withdrawing that cash whenever you're gonna need it over the course of that CD term length. If you're looking to build your savings on a slower basis and you wanna be able to access it and have the flexibility of getting that money on a regular basis, a high yield savings account could be a really great option. If both types of accounts are appealing to you for different reasons, just remember, you can open both. Take whatever set amount of money you have that you're not gonna to need to access for a while and put it into a no penalty CD where it'll earn a guaranteed rate of return. Then with whatever money is left over, open a high yield savings account where you'll be able to access that money and gradually build your savings over time. When it comes to opening any kind of account at a bank or credit union, it's important to read the fine print to see what's expected of you, as well as to make sure that the institution is federally insured. Try to look for an account that has no monthly fees or minimum balance requirements 
And you wanna make sure to research what kind of customer service that bank or credit union offers to make sure it's gonna align with what you expect. And of course, be sure to comparison shop to make sure that you're getting the best interest rate on your accounts. Interest rates are really competitive right now, and consumers have a lot of options when it comes to their banking. Shopping around for a higher interest rate could be a really great move because you'll be able to earn more on your money in a shorter period of time, allowing you to meet your savings goals even faster. I'm Chanel Bissette, and I'm a banking writer for NerdWallet. We have lots of reviews, roundups, and research on our site for whenever you're ready to start looking for a new bank account. And if you feel like you learned something from this video, hit like and subscribe.